Welcome back to our continuing series on the assimilator. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to load a sample. All right. So um, you start by hitting load. And here's where you can browse through all the folders that are on your card. And you can check out the demo folders. They're awesome. Um, you can make folders on the computer and drag in samples. There's many ways to work with the assimilator. So when you find a a folder which you like. I've made this folder for us called Video Series. You just click the data wheel, the data encoder, and you go into that folder. And you load folder. So it says empty, and that's not empty of samples, that's empty of presets which you've created. So I've created none in, in this folder. So let's start by assigning a sample into channel 1 here. So remember when you move the data wheel, the white box is where you're selecting and where you're working. You can see it moving down all the channels as I'm clicking through here, right? Another way to quickly go to a channel to work on it is to just hit that channel. You see that we're on one now, right? So you move the white cursor right there. You just click on data, and now you browse for the sample which you want. So I've loaded some things in here, some snares, some kicks, some vocal stuff, some different percussion stuff. So uh, let's just check out this one here called Thump Kick. So right away it's telling you some information about the sample. 44 hertz, it's two channels, meaning it's stereo. It's about half of a second. So you select it by just clicking it, and it loads it. So now, this is a stereo sample, and I'm going to have a video, um, likely next, about stereo and mono samples with assimilator. So you can see that it's spanning over two channels, one and two. And it shows that by showing this little line underneath there, and showing that there's a master channel, which is the left, and then stereo right is in channel two. So this is a stereo sample. And you can see that if you audition it with with this button here, see it loads up both sides. All right. So remember in video one, I was uh, explaining how simple it is to tweak any parameter on these samples just by clicking on the buttons here. There's no menu diving. So for example, if we wanted to play with the pitch of this thump kick, I would just simply hit pitch. And Again, click to select, right? You go to where you want, you just click to select, and we can pitch this up or down. So here's our kick. Or you can pitch it way down. This knob here does a lot of uh, other things, but we're just going to use it right now just to move really quickly. This one here has little detent, little switches on it, which are really useful. This one is free, free, uh, kind of free flying. Um, it's really fast. So you just move it just a little bit and it moves. Right. And because of Dave Rossum's magic, you can go all the way down to minus 96. And uh, this will sound interesting on some samples and better on others, but uh, yeah, we are getting some sound way down there. And you can pitch this kick way up to here, up to plus 60 semitones. All right. And just like anything on a simulator, you can address any of these parameters with CV. So under all of these things, there's this off, and this is talking about assigning CV. So if I wanted to assign CV to this kick drum, I can choose anything on the matrix, but let's just keep it simple because the sample is on channel one, so let's put it to CVA. So you just click in and go to 1A. This is track one, or channel one. That's 1A. So you trigger it here and deal with pitch there. And this is the attenuator for pitch. And you'll see that all of these have those. 
All right. So if you wanted to pitch this kick drum down exactly one octave, that would be minus 12 semitones, right? All right, so there's our kick drum one octave down. Now, that's not super exciting on a kick drum, so let's change this sample. So I'll go to, um, actually, let's, let's return it to zero for this example. I have a vocal sample that'll be a little bit funner to pitch than a kick drum. All right, so we're back to zero. So to switch the sample out, I'm going to go to channels, and I'm going to click on the sample. I'm going to browse through my samples on this folder. I forget what this thing was called. There it is. Scat vocal. All right. Another stereo sample. So I have to hold it down to play the whole sample through. Right. Or I could change the envelope. Roll down to release. Click there. Let's give this guy like a, like a five second release. All right, and then let's go to pitch. And let's pull her down one octave. That's close enough. tracks. Let's go down two octaves. Right. All right. See you in the next video and we'll talk about how to change a stereo sample into mono. Stereo samples are great, um, but it does, you know, cut all these channels in half basically. So instead of having eight channels, you can have four in stereo pairs, right? Um, for some samples, obviously, totally appropriate and worth it. For other things, um, I just want to show you how to strip them down to mono. Okay, see you in the next video.